I guess we're going back to our our original programming here, Walker. Well, the match was announced earlier on in the evening and on social media. We are going to be seeing a Lumberjack Strat match. That's right. They're trying to settle their differences tonight. Let me explain to you folks, if you're not familiar with the premise, we're going to have Kari Wright and Tim Storm in the ring. On the outside of the ring, we're going to have Exodus Prime on Kari's side. We're going to have APOC on Tim's side. And each one of them is going to have a leather strap, and they can do whatever they want with it. So... If Kari throws Tim out in front of Exodus, Exodus can just lay into him with that leather strap, and there's nothing anyone can do about it. And with that being said, it is no disqualifications. The leather strap is within legality. Anything is within legality tonight. Kari Wright and Tim Storm will be going one-on-one -on -one inside this Texoma Pro Wrestling ring. And maybe finally we will see an end to this war that has been waged here in the Elks Lodge Arena. Months of drama comes down to this right here. We're going to try to settle it in the ring tonight as the reincarnation of excellence takes on the perfect storm in this lumberjack strap match to settle the score finally. And this, this has to settle the score, Walker. I mean, where do we go from here if it doesn't? I mean, we've, we've done everything. To, now we're down to lumberjack strap match. All right, and the fans knowing exactly who it is just from that thunder rolling. If there's a Mount Rushmore for Texoma, this man could be all four faces. He won that NWA World Championship right here in this very Elks Lodge Arena. And tonight, he's trying to teach a lesson to this young man that's been respecting him for the better part of six months, Walker. Six entire months of war that has been waged between not only Kari Wright and Tim Storm, but Exodus Prime and APOC Adam Asher. And now two out of those four men will be weaponized with leather straps on the outside of this ring while the other two do battle inside. There's no telling what's going to happen here tonight, Tony Snow. No telling at all. Talk about a combustible environment, to say the least, man. Tim Storm, usually he walks around ringside. Usually he is paying homage to the man, uh, the fans who have brought him to this dance, so to speak. He's but all to business tonight, man. Tonight it is all business for the perfect storm in a Texoma Pro Wrestling ring. Went straight inside the ring. Been eyeing Kari Wright the entire time. And I'm looking into the eyes of Kari right now, right now and, and they're not looking phased by any means, but... Look at APOC over there just wailing on that ring with that leather strap. This has gotten personal for him as well. This rivalry started out as a clash of old school versus new, new school. The old heads, as they call it, versus the young stars. And it's turned into much more than that. This has turned into one of the most bitter rivalries. You might want to even call it a rivalry of the year here for Texoma. It would definitely be in contendership. And don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, the Texoma Roll up Pro. One, two, just a two count, as you're saying, Walker. The Texoma Pro Wrestling Year End Awards will be dropping very, very soon. I have that exclusive for you, Tony. Nice. And you very well could vote for Kari Wright versus Tim Storm Rivalry of the Year. But I got to tell you one thing. Tim Storm and Kari Wright, they're not focused on awards. There is bad blood between these two men, Tony. Definite, and look how Kari just gets right back in that ring. That's the whole purpose of a lumberjack strap match, trying to keep the action inside the ring. This almost serves as a pseudo tag match, if you will, Tony. The way that you see Kari Wright immediately excavates back to his, his own side, back on the side of Exodus Prime. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's right, fans. Make sure you vote in that Texoma year end awards. I think I'm up for DJ of the year. I'm not sure. How many people are in the running for that? It doesn't matter. All that matters is I'm the front runner. That's all that matters. I'm the front runner. Front man DJ Tony Snow is in the building. Yes, sir. And Kari Wright has Tim Storm locked in this side headlock here, but Tim's Beautiful. trying to maneuver out of it. 
Oh, yeah, there we go. Chain wrestling down to just a clubbering blow to the back, and Tim Storm in control. Lifts him up. Beautiful scoop slam. There we go. Textbook wrestling from the ring general, Tim Storm. You know, it's great to be able to tie up your opponent in all sorts of pretzel knots and different things of that nature, but don't you just love to see someone getting hit as hard as they possibly could? Oh, you got to love it, man. Oh, look at that shot right to the jaw. And, I mean, Tim is not messing around tonight, man. This has gotten... It's gotten a little too far for his taste, I think. Beautiful chop to the chest. Directly to the chest cavity. Kari Wright making it over to those ropes. Tim Irish whip into the ropes. Kick to the gut. Catches him up. What are we going to see here? Oh, and a boot to the head. Tim Storm's greatest hits one after another. Picking him up. Are we going to see that neck? Oh, yeah, there we go. Hanging neck breaker. Bam, there we go. Locking eyes with Exodus Prime on the one, outside. Two, just a one count, actually. Kari Wright kicking out. Tonight's been the night of one count kickouts, man. The indomitable will of these superstars here tonight, Walker. Absolutely. Tim helping him back up to his feet, measuring Kari Wright. Shot to the back as the reincarnation of excellence is knocked down to his knees again. Tim helps him back up, throws a forearm shot to the head. Oh, and Kari following up with a European uppercut and one more. These two are throwing soup bones in there tonight. Exodus Prime was, I'm sorry, Kari Wright was trying to create some distance in there. Tim Storm not allowing that. Wait a minute. Oh, a step up knee though, and he could have broke his nose. He could have broke Tim Storm's nose. He very well could have. Tim Storm not powdering out to the outside. Oh, oh. and Exodus Prime. Oh, laying into him with that leather strap. Do you hear the crack of that leather? How can you not hear it? That's, Echoing through. That's leather meeting leather here tonight. Exodus Prime. Look, at he's proud of his work. He's having a blast over here, man. Exodus Prime. Oh, man. Knees to the back. And there we go, wrenching back with that chin lock. Referee Nick Caldwell in beautiful position there. Kari Wright, the rear chin lock is applied, and you see the way that he's driving that right knee directly into the spinal cord of Tim Storm. Directly in the spinal cord, wrenching back with all that leverage. Oh, but Tim making it back up to his feet. Some strikes to the stomach. Tim Storm now. Into the corner. Irish whip. Reversed by Kari Wright. Kari putting all his weight behind it. Look, oh, up and over. Look at the power. Wait a minute. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, and look. Apox right there with the strap. Backing him up. He's got two straps. Yeah, he's double-handed up tonight, yeah, folks. Yeah, he's double-fisting. Look at this. Oh, what's going on? What's Exodus doing? He's taking a picture? What's going on here? What what's what's what are they doing? Are they going live? Are they they trying to go viral? I mean I know Facebook's really pushing that whole reels thing right now, but come on. Oh look Oh and Tim Storm! Oh look at Exodus! Tim chasing him over behind us here. And meanwhile, Apoc is putting the beat down on Kari Wright. Uh, is there, I, think, I guess there's no count out here, thankfully. We'd no be in count out. If there was. No disqualification. All right, Tim and Apoc, the vet club here. Oh, look, where's the, they have all the straps. Where Exodus lost his strap. Well, you know, Exodus is used to losing straps lately. Absolutely, former Texoma, Oklahoma champion. Beautiful back elbow drop, or back elbow. Slingshots him in the ropes. Oh, and there's that big boot. Tim's feeling it. Tim Storm's cooking with fish grease now, guys. Here we go. Oh, Exodus trying to get Kari up over here. Both men are doing everything that they can. The will is undying in oh, both of these competitors. Wait a minute. Oh, he's pulling out a, a power bomb. I'm, oh, he what's going looking on? For it. Oh, wait. Oh, over both men off of the top to the outside. Both competitors crumbling to the outside, and now we don't even need don't even, leather straps. Yeah, they don't even need straps. They're just laying into them here, Walker. Just right fist. Oh, oh, Apoc into the post, though, and right into that corner. And look at Exodus Prime. He just mounted Tim Storm, and he's raining down right hands on top of him. And now it's a two-on-one advantage for Kari Wright and Exodus Prime. And Apoc's taken out of the equation completely, Walker. Oh, there we go, helping Tim back into the ring. Oh, but Tim's up to his feet first. 
There we go with the kick to the gut. He's measuring him. Irish whip into the corner. Oh, and a beautiful splash. Tim Storm, he's firing up here tonight. The Storm's a Bruin in Texas. Oh, oh but X getting involved. Holding him down with that front face lock. What's going on? Oh, he's just whipping him. Kari right grabbing the strap. Just whipping him. And Straight we, up Ted Nugent down here tonight, man. We have leather straps of flying in the Elks Lodge. He's got him tied to the whipping post. What do you know about Nugent? What do you know about Stranglehold? Come on. Man. Car oh, but look at there. Tim with the wherewithal to pull Kari into the turnbuckle. Get a little bit of a reprieve there. What a chaotic match. What a chaotic night here tonight at Texoma Pro. Every match has been crazy. Oh, no DQ, as you said, Walker. This is all perfectly legal right now. I wouldn't expect anything less from these two men. Underhanded and cheap. Wait a oh, minute. Oh, Tim ducking out of the way. Akari spearing Exodus Prime and rolls Apoc. What's going on? Tim Storm catching his breath here. Some malfunction at the junction here tonight for Kari right next to this prime, but don't look behind you, Kari. Oh. You won't like what you see. Oh, but same thing. Kari getting out of the way, and Tim planting APOC. What's Kari doing? He's trying to get the big man up. Oh, but he can't hold him. Oh, and Tim's got the iron claw, and he's got the iron claw. This could be it. Referee checking Kari right as Tim is wrenching in with that claw. Innovated by Texas legend Fritz Von Erich. Tim Storm, he, he's, he's, that iron claw is cinched in right here. Kari is fading. Kari is fading. He's almost out. This could happen one or two ways. Kari could just pass out or Tim could pin him with this. Exodus is not moving on the outside. Oh, now he is. Exodus is stirring. What's going on over here? Do you see what I see? Looks like he's measuring him up. Oh, look. Did you see that, Walker? I, I do. He slid some brass knuckles in. Well, I don't think Tim Storm is aware whatsoever, and I hope he can hear us right now. But they're legal's the thing. Oh, but catching it. Tim catching it. He saw what was happening. Grabbed Kari by the wrist. And now he's got the brass knucks. And as I said, they're completely legal. The wrist lock's still controlled here. And then and, and Tim Storm. What's he doing? He's pausing. What's he doing? An internal struggle here for Tim Storm, but I think he's set on what he's going to do. Oh, but a spear. He took too long. One, two. Oh, just a two count, and Tim Storm kicks out. I thought we had yet another upset tonight. I thought that that was going to be it. I thought Tim Storm was heading back to the locker room with another check in the win column. Tim Storm's morals might have cost him this match. If he just would have turned and clocked Kari right with those brass knucks, this would be over, Walker, and it would have been completely legal. Kari right now. Oh, Tim ducking out of the way. He's still got those brass knuckles on, though. Tim, no. And there it is. He used them. Completely legal. Cover him. He's kind of hesitant, though. I don't think he's that happy with what he just did, to be honest. One, Tim Storm, two, the cover. Just a two count, and he kicked out. What is going on here, Walker? And it's not often that we see Tim Storm disagreeing with our referee staff, but uh, he's getting frustrated out there. It's not often you see Tim Storm have to stoop down to doing something like using brass knucks on his opponent. But that tells you how far he's willing to go. Oh, but Exodus Prime grabbing that ankle. But when you're facing a competitor the, like, the likes of Kari Wright, I can understand where Tim Storm is coming from. Kari Wright eliminating Apoc with that drop kick. Now he's got those brass knucks again. Tim's trying to measure him. I don't think he knows he has him. Ducks down underneath the punch. Catches a perfect storm. That's it. One, two, three, and that's it. I can't believe it. Tim Storm finally with the clean win over Kari Wright. What a match, Walker Stewart. And you can only assume that this is going to be the end of this story. The closing chapter as Tim Storm finally with a 1-2-3 victory over the young Kari Wright. We talked a lot tonight about awards, but I got to tell you, this could easily go down in the annals of history for Texoma Pro Wrestling. What a strap match, Tony. Yes, sir. And Tim Storm and APOC left standing. What a showing tonight by the legends. These two have had to step out of character and go back to their dark circle days, the darker, violent side. Tim Storm has gone on record many times as saying 
there's two sides to everyone. And how you treat him determines what sides you get. Kari Wright, Exodus Prime, they dealt with disrespect. And they got violence in return from it. Now he's taking his time, Walker. Now he's going to go talk to the fans. See, he handled business, and now he's going to go show his appreciation to the people that helped him get here. The claim was being made by Kari Wright next to this prime that Tim Storm didn't have what it takes anymore. And that had to have been going through Tim Storm's mind. Tim Storm had to be feeling some of those same things, those insecurities they build up over time, Tony. He's proven it to himself. He's proven it to APOC. He's proven it to the whole damn country tonight. You'll love to see it. Tim Storm still has what it takes. I'm sure he had to be questioning himself after the last few months, after some of these losses, after some of these beatdowns that he's suffered. The outright theft of his property from Kari Wright. Tonight, Tim Storm gets a piece of flesh for his revenge. Well, ladies and gentlemen, with that being said, I believe that's going to take us into our commercial break.